Green there one is me, Giga Lemon. I hope you enjoyed your holiday or your Thanksgiving in the U.S. I know uh, Canada probably had their Thanksgiving already, considering they celebrate theirs early. Anyways, this project was recorded a month ago at this point, and it was done so I'd be prepared to put them together and upload it for the month of December. So, speaking of which. I have been uh, spending practically all of November and a bit of uh, September and October preparing another annual holiday level pack that I'll be hopefully revealing sometime soon. And I'm quite happy with how this one's been turning out. It's almost finished, by the way. Yep, it should be ready ahead of time. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the series and happy holidays. Greens, everyone, and uh, yeah, I have not touched this simulator in around two years because, well, I was busy. Welcome to my next more or less impromptu let's play of Holiday Lemmings. It'll be Christmas by the time I upload this, or at the very least, uh, the start of December. I'm recording this in, in advance so I can have it ready for when the time comes. I am playing 1994 Holiday Lemmings. For the sake of having uh, a good enough amount of levels to play through. Now, there is technically four releases of Holiday Lemmings. 1991, 1992, 93, and of course 94. And 94 is the one I'm playing. 91 and 92... Like, 92 has both 91 and 92 uh, comboed with it. But the issue with that is that uh, they have very few levels and only... Have, and only like one or two original levels, with the rest of them being uh, Oh No More Lemmings levels. And I'd rather cover Oh No More Lemmings levels in Oh No More Lemmings. So yeah, you're getting your little taste of Lemmings before the actual Lemmings, uh, to, well, before the actual Lemmings Let's Play in 2021. Though, if you want, you can probably skip this Let's Play, wait for the one in 2021, and then come back here. I'll still be here, this video will be here by the time uh, you get back. So yeah, this contains two ranks from 1984, Frost and uh, Hail, as well as Flurry and Blizzard from 93. But we're going to be playing on uh, 94's levels first, then going back to 1993. Let's begin. These loading screens are long, so I might uh, cut them just in case. But, uh, yeah. So, let's begin with the first level, Chains of Command. This level, like with most of the Frost levels, are pretty easy. It's the first rank of the, uh, of the, uh, level pack and such, and you're gonna see, uh, why. I'm gonna say this right now. Expect me to talk about how much I miss using Neolemics to play this because, uh, I've been a bit spoiled. Anyways, back then, we only had 8 skills. This was before the time Lemmings 2 came around, or the ver or probably... Actually, no, this is probably around the same time Lemmings 2 came around. But regardless, uh, this is before we had a whole ton of skills. Some of them were introduced or uh, brought into Neo Lemmings, albeit modified to be uh, much more useful, and such. This level is easy. You have six of everything, but it's more, but it's more than enough to solve the level ahead. For this level, you just, uh, you just need to have your lemmings uh, uh, cross the top of the chains and bash through. And yeah, uh, back then we we did not have no fancy, uh, like we didn't have like a fancy. Uh, uh, like, uh, skill shadow or anything. We had to deal with the mercy of the game and stuff, and... and stuff like this, uh, well... Let's just say the engine is going to start showing its age in due time. So, let's raise the release rate to 99, because that's what we do when we solve a level. Release the rest of the lemmings, like so. I will say that, sadly, I don't know what hotkey to find on this kind of emulator. I'm trying to keep this as vanilla as possible, but uh, we don't have no uh, speed run or speed up uh, feature like in later releases. That's probably one of the few good things about the PlayStation and Windows versions. 
or the one one of the few good things about the PlayStation version. I'll talk more about the ports as I probably get into the uh, the proper Lemmings Let's Play in general. But yeah, might as well record something for the holidays as my last project for 2020. Sorry I didn't record much this year, and I'm sorry about things coming up to prevent me from recording Sage, but I hope uh, I hope this is good enough for a uh, yearly wrap up uh, thing. So yeah. We got four ranks to go through and 32 levels uh, from uh, from each year. 32 from 1994 and 32 from 1993. And of course, we saved everyone, so let's move on to level 2. Now, if I have nothing to say with these uh, loading screens because of how long they take, I will just cut past them. Anyways, level 2, Ski Jump. 50 lemmings, you can lose one of them because uh, one lemming is like 2%. This is before the time where the uh, percentages were axed in Neolemics. And we just had to take a guess on what percentage of well, what is, well, what? I mean, I think Round the Wheel did it best when, when, with what, his old lemmings let's play. But yeah. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's hit number two. Unpause and yeah. The reason why I'm uh, uh, just uh, cranking the release rate to 99 is because I'm clicking a bunch of uh, lemmings. Hopefully, I got all of them. Because uh... oh oh shoot 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 shoot. There we go. Got them all. Okay, that could have ended badly, but yeah, that's what you can just do. Now, if I were to design this level now, like, uh, if, say, this level were to be designed today and stuff like that, it'd probably just be 10 lemmings and stuff like that, a simple floater tutorial. But, that's level 2 solved. Pretty easy, huh? Now, if you want, you could just have a blocker and use uh, and use a couple of builders to save the lemmings and such. But hey, you gotta take the easiest solution to the end. So, Cindy Land. I thought it was Candy Land. I'm probably gonna need to look this up later. And yes, uh. Like, uh, Amiga, the, that's one thing I forgot about with Amiga Lemmings. Different backgrounds for the level select and such. Wish we had that luxury in the Lemmings. I would take advantage of it for Milos, but... Here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do this without using a single blocker and such. And I think that's low enough, so let's bash. Now, as much as I would be happy enough to uh, just play this level twice and show the pathway to get to both exits, like, this is the easier exit because one, low lemmings come out uh, this way, like, this has been the case with uh, entrances for a long time, they always come out that way, and, uh, yeah. So you really had to, um, so you really, like, Back when custom levels were still uh, in their infancy, you had to uh, take advantage of certain uh, quirks of the engine to get the most out of your levels and st or, or something like that. Maybe make levels that the developers n never really saw coming. Now, uh, I know that a... Uh, I know that, like, uh... I know that, like, probably a developer build of the original Lemmings exists, but as far as I'm aware, Mike Daly prob uh, probably said that it was probably, like, uh, lost or something. Like, like personally, if it was found, then uh, I'd be happy. Because uh, there were levels that weren't seen in, even in the prototype. There was, like, uh, there was, like, a level that was found in the uh, debug level editor. They had to make the levels, uh, like, in game, like, like as the game uh, play, like as the game played itself and stuff like that. But yeah, let us go uh, clear Cindyland and go straight to uh, level four. 
Personally, another reason that I don't know, uh, don't know how to save state and such. And on top of that, uh, I'm not sure what hotkeys are which, so I'm, so I'm just trying to be cautious and stuff like that. I probably should have looked at a guide uh, while looking at this uh, emulator and such. Hopefully, one day I'll own a, a Commodore Amiga. Because I, because I do remember seeing a Commodore 64 at a store once. There we go. Ah, darn. It's time to go our separate ways. Yeah, this is going to be the first, uh, Rude Awakening, as I'll call it, because, well... This level requires you to, uh... Like, you're only allowed to lose one lemming, and on top of that, uh... You have to make sure that... Oh, goodness. How did we manage with a scroll speed this slow? <laughs> we have to build over this pit. And we can't lose too many lemmings. We have to bash here. You can afford to leave this crowd waiting. Because they'll be safe in here. But this crowd needs more attention. So... Let's switch to the builder and such. Of course, this crowd comes a bit first. It's... Like... Another thing I, s I will say to add to the Neolemix counter, and why I'm, I'm going to start missing it with, the, with these upcoming two Let's Plays, well, we do not have the option for frame advances, and I don't know what the key is to pause not only pause emulation, but also advance it frame by frame. Oh, I think that's a guarantee to uh, make it. Yeah. Now... Just bash here, and level solved. Yeah, you only need to use two skills here. I don't know what other... I don't know what the key... Like, what key to use for... Oh, right. I think that's the mouse wheel, uh... uh function or something like that. But it just... It doesn't really work that right. Like, I think this was a time before mouse wheels were a thing. <laughs> I could be wrong about a lot of things. I ha I do have this fascination with old computers and such. Like, I do wish I could own some older computers and have the room to test them all. It's always such a joy to just to have some retro computing and stuff. If I could, I would just upgrade this uh, HP computer case to have a uh, beige case. Probably a mix of modern and retro. Anyways, let's move on to level 5. Lemming Reunification. This is where the terrain uh, gets weird. Like, you're gonna see some funky stuff that uh, probably is more or less outdated in terms of uh, like what to do with your terrain nowadays. So, let's begin. Let's select, uh, let's select the miner and we're gonna let the, this guy in the crowd come out first. Now I'm gonna use a builder so I can actually uh, pen the crowd in and such. Reason so that uh, reason that is because uh, I don't want to deal with any stragglers here. So let's. Uh, uh yeah, I was trying to do that. <laughs> I'm sure he'll come back around. While we do that, we're gonna use a basher here. And, uh, because I don't have the luxury of holding left or right to select which lemming I want to have bash, it's going to be a bit trivial trying to select the right lemming at the right time, making certain levels much harder than they actually are. Case in point, I believe, like, uh, I believe, like, the last taxing level? It's either last taxing level or the... or... It's a level sometime, or like early on in Neolemix and such. Of course, because of how uh, the bashers behave in this game for some reason, they don't bash all the way. I, I was going to be so mipped if I used all my bashers and didn't get through that uh, barrier. There we go. And let's uh, raise the release rate to 99 because that's level solved. That, that's what we always do. Raise the release ring. I should... 
Yeah, darn. If I had a manual, I this pro uh, finding out the hotkeys would be easier. All I know is just the hotkeys for pause and the hotkeys for uh, the skills. That being like one for climber, two for floater, three for bomber, four for blocker, five for builder, six for basher, seven for miner, and of course eight for eight for digger. I don't know what 9 and 0 do. Let me try uh, double tapping. Nope, nothing. They are not the nuke button. I'm pretty sure nuke is probably N or something. But hey, we got everyone. We can uh, call that level clear. Squared away. Anyway. The land of the bazaar. Alright, let us uh, begin this level proper. So, this is where the game actually starts getting a bit, uh, tricky and stuff like that. Because it's a shorter level pack and such, like, you can probably already tell that I already had a bit of an outtake because, uh, yeah. You guys are going to see that at the end of the video. Kind of similar to how I handled my Freedom Plant outtakes and such. With this, I have to, uh, I have to think about how to use my skills wisely. Probably thinking, why would I use a builder here if I can just... Go down here, it's a safe place. Well, you don't really have enough builders to just basically build over this and then just build a, uh, a safe falling platform. And because we don't have uh, Lemmings 2 falling distance, and because we have very little builders, yeah, you're going to uh, lose way more Lemmings than necessary. That guy's gonna fall into the pit and uh, you won't have enough uh, Lemmings to save and stuff like that. So, you have to build to the lower path. So, we just wait for him to come to here and build again. Now, I will say that there's going to be some uh, builder fests uh, coming up ahead because uh, builders were so good that they were the most used skill because it, because it meant uh, getting across pits and such. And... Uh, and it's come to the point where people can make some really good builder list levels. And I do like making builder list levels. It, like, it, like uh, when you get down to it, you can find good ways of uh, approaching situations that you normally want to use builders for without builders. It can make some really good puzzles. Anyways, I believe he should be far enough from him, so, uh, from the crowd, so... Uh, I think it should be good enough time to uh, use the bomber, and because uh, I am playing, uh, I'm playing the most vanilla you can get with lemmings. I don't have instantaneous bombers. I have timed bombers that will go off in five seconds. Oh, that's the last possible frame. You don't know how nervous that kind of stuff makes me. But uh, yeah, level solved. Second try. You'll see the first try at the end of the video. The one thing I always like about this uh, these, uh, this game is just this this little uh, this mini map. I always like to see how the level looks in a much more further away view. It's also basically your solution to uh, view like scroll across the level much faster. And uh, I always like just going seeing the stark uh, darkness around here. Or just seeing the little bits of terrain that they decide to liven up the place with. But, yeah. Lemmings are saved. We can see them uh, coming to the exit right about now. Come on, hurry along, little buddies. Now, not every level is going to give you an opportunity to save 100%. So, if I have to let Lemmings die, that's an unfortunate, uh, that's an unfortunate yet necessary evil. <laughs> Each skill has a use, and, uh, you'll definitely see that. Anyways, level clear. We'll be moving on to level 7. So, uh, what does level 7 have for us? It's a level that's the, that's, uh, basically the number of the year, uh, back, uh, that was approaching. 1995. I believe that year was also when... Uh, when uh, my friend was born. I'm just only a couple years uh, younger than him. I'm gonna try to save 100% on this level again. 
This is my third attempt because, uh, yeah. We do not have luxuries in the Olympics, otherwise I'd be done with this level by now. Oh, perfect. If I could, I probably would just use this guy to just send him that way. Certain tricks uh, that are used in, like, uh, modern day, uh, modern day levels can be used here, but it's harder to pull off. But, yeah. But, yeah, now that our friends are going to be trapped up here, they're in a way where I can actually use a miner and set them free, though it's going to be a bit tricky. But even if I don't get it right, I do have spares. So, yeah. I hope I wasn't too low because I don't want to build in a way that makes him turn around. <sighs> Darn it. It's so nerve-wracking to build from such a, uh, such a place. Fortunately, I have to deal with the fact that I have, uh, that I have one less builder to work with. I believe he should make it, because I have made it in a failed attempt, and, okay, just barely, uh, made it. I think, to be safe, I'm gonna use a miner here. Because I believe that with a miner, I should have more room, because miners are a bit slower. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think that was the better plan. Okay, now for our crowd here. Let's try to release, and we did it! Oh, yes! First try! First try up that part! Yes! Ah, oh, man, that, deser that deserves a victory drinks uh, swig. It's long in 1985, but try try again with 2021. Hmm. Hmm. I believe 1995 was when the PlayStation released. Well, in the US, it was released in 1994 in Japan at least, so yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the last level in today's part. Division Bell. This is going to be done in a jiffy. You have one minute. Basic, this is obvious where you need to go. Because you do not have enough time to walk all the way to this part. In fact, I think they even just didn't bother to put this on here because they probably think that players wouldn't think to walk all the way over there. Yeah, the, the exit and the tops are uh, separate. They used to be this way in the old days. But it's just like, this level. This level. <laughs> There's levels that uh, that can prove to be some tricky sorts, and there are levels like these where they're just pathetic. You'll get to see one of those when we uh, get to the Genesis portions of, uh, of uh, well, Lemmings. Because holy cow. Some levels are like, yeah, we just called it a day. Yeah, but I think the level, I think the part is practically over. Just mine to the right and then just let the game uh, end it. Like, you have one minute, sure, but. Uh, oop, I pressed, uh. Oh, I pressed the wrong key! <laughs> I apologize, uh, uh, I, okay, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of an epilepsy warning ahead of time. The one thing I was trying to do was trying to select a builder, but I pressed the F keys by habit because I play Neolemix. Like, look, we have five, four, three, two, everyone's saved. <laughs> Yeah, I 
yeah, apparently when I pressed F10, it just brought back to the one menu or something like that. I apologize for a bit of the epilepsy uh, problem and such. It's probably just the ROM and stuff like that, but yeah. Next time when we return, we are going to uh, continue with the rest of the Frost rank, and we'll be moving on with uh, Hail. So, so uh, if you want to keep up with the series, you're free to subscribe and uh, and ring the bell for any notifications. And if not, well, it's uh, I, I'm not forcing you to. Anyway, if you want to donate, there are a couple links in the description below. And, uh, thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I shall bid you adieu. Every moment here is going to be stressful. Ah! Well, I guess that's the first outtake. It had to happen at some time. Back in a moment. So, yeah. I'm going to try to save 100% on this level, but it's not going to be easy. Okay. Okay. Because, uh, trying to get this here frame perfect is just gonna be, ugh. Okay. Ugh, darn it. Alright, let's try that again. I only need to save 50%, but still. Yeah, it is. Nice. Just a single builder and a couple more, uh... No, well, just a single basher and probably a couple more builders. So, we just need to... Oh, darn it.